Hello and welcome. So I'm actually going to be starting a new series on this game called Brotato. And it won't be the only game I play, but I want to do a series where I basically just go through and I explain my process and like how I think is the easiest way to win with each character. Because as, as you can see, I've beaten the game on every single character at max difficulty. And I thought the timing was perfect because they introduced four new characters in the patch on uh, October 25th. And they introduced some new, a lot of buffs, a lot of nerfs, some changes to a lot of the champions or uh, characters, right? So that now would be the perfect time to start the series and help people who maybe end up playing this game. And also since I just played a lot, I figured, you know, it'd be a nice, uh, nice thing I could make videos on, even if it's not super popular. I think the game is super great. It's a bullet hell, bullet hell game. And basically you try to survive 20 waves. And, you know, if you survive the 20 waves, you can go endless or you can just finish. And I tend to just go to wave 20 and then stop. I don't really, I'm not too interested in endless, but yeah. So basically I would start here. This first video would be on well-rounded. Okay, so with well-rounded, right, we have 5 max HP, 5% speed, 8 harvesting. And these are our starting stats. These are the sort of character traits. We can, let's, uh, let's call it that, right? The character traits. And as you can see, we don't have any negatives. We only have positives, right? These are all great. These are just free stats. Free HP, free speed. So you're very, very prone to just... Or I guess in the, uh, another way to say it is uh, you're very unlikely to die because these stats are just free tank stats and speed makes it very hard for you to get caught. And then harvesting is just a nice thing that gives you extra XP and extra materials throughout the entire of the 20 waves. And yeah, I tend to go SMG. Of course, you can probably beat the game on with any weapon. I just think SMG is very safe, long range, uh, very easy to scale with. It has nice scaling rights, does a ton of damage. It has incredible single target, which I think is the easiest. Any weapon that has strong single target, I think is the best to play with. And here you see I got a tree spawn. I got really lucky. Wow. I actually dropped a crate, right? That's pretty rare to see. And all you want to do in this first wave is kill everything. Sometimes you can get up to 68 materials. On average, you're going to be getting around 65. 68 is the cap. And then in this first stats, in the first few waves, I really like to take range damage. So I got lucky here again. And then something about the shops. Maybe I can make this in a separate video, but I'm going to explain it here. In the first few shops or first few waves, you always see two weapons and two items. Okay. So, and in this case, since I start with SMG, I have a higher chance to see SMGs for the two weapons. You just want to reroll. Right, so see, immediately found SMG. Uh, and here's a lens. I really like this item. You lose a little bit of range, but you get range damage, which is huge. So I'm actually gonna lock this because when I reroll, I'm still only gonna see one extra item because it's two total, right? One, two items, and then two weapons here. So I see two weapons, another SMG, I take it. Coffee, I really like as well. 10% attack speed for 2% damage is a pretty good trade. And I'm not gonna roll again. I think that's fine. And it's hard to explain the value of stats if you don't know how each stat upgrade works. So when you level up, right, you can get from tier one to four of any stat. So when it comes to damage percent, you get three, six, nine, twelve percent damage. And these are the different tiers you can get. So if I get a basic, a tier one damage upgrade, that's three percent. And if I get a tier one attack speed upgrade, that is five percent. And if you get tier two, that number is doubled. So it's basically coffee is like a tier two, like a rare attack speed upgrade. And it's, you lose 2% damage. That's less than a tier one damage. So basically you're getting about an upgrade and a third of an upgrade, right? 10% attack speed in exchange for, or sorry, you lose 2% damage in exchange for 10% attack speed. Right? That's how it works. And here I'm just rolling because I really want more range damage or harvesting. I think harvesting is pretty nice. I'll go ahead and take this. Oh, range damage. That's incredible. SMG. And I'm actually going to roll once. Okay, I didn't get an SMG, so I'm going to go ahead and buy the coffee now. 
I'm actually going to roll again here. Okay, yeah, I got an SMG and I lock it. And the reason I rolled there is just because it's really cheap, right? It's only four materials. I had, I think re-rolling is a little hard to explain my, my decision making on. But like when I do re-roll, a lot of times it tends to be because it's just really cheap in the early waves. I think it's high value to just re-roll. And in that case, just now, I only had one item locked. So I was basically seeing three new, uh, basically potentially two weapons, which could be SMGs and one extra item. We got another stat. I could just take harvesting. Um, you know what, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and do that. Now I'll take SMG and I'm gonna buy the lens here because I have enough to buy another weapon possibly. Get in, find one. One more reroll? No. And I will save coffee. And as you can see, wave three, we no longer, we're no longer seeing um, the two weapons on the left and then the item. So the chances are now different. That's why I like rolling quite a lot in those first few shops, but only buying the SMGs. Because if you end up buying the items, then you lose out on the easier chance to find SMGs once you get to the third shop. And then here, all of these enemies are pretty similar. They just move at you slowly. And then we have the floating enemy and this enemy here with the eye at the top right. It died. Yeah, this enemy here, see, that's uh, near my top right. It shoots projectiles every few seconds. It turns red before it does it. And then there's also the floating enemy, which if you shoot with a ranged weapon, it, um, oh, range damage, really nice. Okay, reroll. This is a rare or a tier two armor upgrade, but I really want more damage or luck. Okay, that's really good. So... Luck is an interesting stat. Um, you see here, I have zero luck, right? But luck actually increases the rarity of items and level upgrades. So basically taking this on wave four, a tier three is already really lucky. A useful one like luck is even rarer, right? So it basically increases the, the rarity of all of my future upgrades potentially, and also the future shops. We reroll, oh, see? immediately get a rare or a tier 2 SMG, that's great, I'm gonna buy that. And then Lumberjack shirt, I don't think it's necessary, but I kind of like buying it early on, because it, it's a unique item, so if you get it, you will no longer see it in your shops. So in a way, I think it ends up being a... It can basically just be a zero cost item by the end of the game, or by uh, the end of your run, because you end up paying paying it off by not seeing it in future shops, basically. Because, like, if you pay, let's say, 30 materials for a reroll late game, then each one of the, the items, you have four, you're rerolling four things, right, potentially. And if you, if one of them would have been a lumberjack shirt and you spent, let's say, 40 materials, 40 materials on a reroll, then you basically save 10 materials, right? Because you didn't have to see the lumberjack shirt and skip it again. And it's not like it's useless. It's just not, <laughs> it's not super useful, to be honest, right? Because you can just shoot trees and break them. Life steal. This feels unnecessary, to be honest. I'm going to actually skip it. And I don't want these. I don't want these. Uh, okay. Okay, armor is a lot better than life steal. So I'll go ahead and take some armor. Oh, fertilizer. This item is really good. If you find it in early shops, I love taking this. Because the melee damage doesn't matter when you're doing this build, right? You only need range damage. And it's just eight harvesting, which stacks up over time. And it's really cheap, right? And also, I like glasses. So I'm going to buy glasses. Reroll. I could take Ugly Tooth. It's also a unique item. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. I think Ugly Tooth is okay. I got an SMG. And we're broke. Five materials. Keep going. Yeah, I think Ugly Tooth is okay. It's one of the two items in the game that lets you slow enemy movement speed. The second one is the snail. And I, I actually really like the snail as an item. One, because... I think the amount of speed you can get for yourself that feels reasonable is about 20% or lower. If you personally get more than 20% speed, like as a stat here, I have 2%, right? I think if you get more than 20%, it feels very uncomfortable to play, your, to move your character. But slowing down the enemies is completely different, right? That doesn't affect your own movement. It only slows them down. So it's pretty much like um, like getting movement speed without actually having to move faster yourself. And there is only two items that do that, right? The tooth that I just got. Also, I'm going to take crit chance. Oh, range damage. Nice. I'm, I, yeah. <laughs> Basically, only this ugly tooth 
slows down enemy movement speed and the snail and like i said the snail used to be um oh gecko yeah gecko got buffed as well you can get up to four geckos they give you a little bit of range and chance to attract materials which i really like with this build smg wheelbarrow is a little greedy to be honest because it's 70 materials and it gives 16 harvesting but i will take it here because i think we have enough damage scope is great more range damage and range banner i used to like banner but they changed it they it used to be some other negative uh stat i forgot what it was to be honest but it's knockback now which i think is really bad because i think having knockback is important uh scope is really nice though but yeah i was explaining the what was it oh yeah this the snail so the snail item slows down enemy movement speed and it used to reduce enemy movement speed by five percent and then you would lose three percent speed yourself so basically you lose three percent speed and enemies lose five percent and they buffed it i thought it was already really strong i pretty much took it every single run on most most characters but they buffed it it now reduces enemy movement speed by eight percent and it still only takes away three percent of your move speed so i think it is really really strong now like it was already strong in my opinion like i said but they just buffed it i don't know why maybe the statistics aren't good on it or something of course only the devs know why they would be buffing and nerfing things i, I assume they're looking at some numbers in their system and they see like you know snail runs aren't good or something uh when you have the item here i could start taking damage percent You know what, I, I will take damage percent. Normally I'd keep taking range damage, but I'm gonna get a scope. I have 10%, sorry, I have 10 range damage already. So I think it's okay to start taking damage percent. we get an SMG again. Crit chance for armor. Do I want this? It, this is really expensive. I think this is an okay item. Losing armor is kind of rough because you're already quite squishy, but it, it is really expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. Oh, fairy. They kind of killed fairy. I don't really want to take this ever now. Um, basically, fairy used to give two HP regen for every tier one item. I have like, you know, you can see here, right? I have seven tier one items. It's a lot. Actually, eight, right? Technically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess it's unique. Wait, is that new? Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> it used to give two HP regen per tier one item. And then minus two. So basically, it would be plus two, minus two for every tier four item. So if you bought it, you lose two HP regen, right? But in this case, if I had seven, I'd get 14 HP regen for all my tier one items. And then I'd buy the fairy and it'd be my only tier four. So I'd, I'd get 12 HP regen, which pretty much just makes you unkillable. Or like, it, it just gives you a ton of HP regen, right? Immediately. But they nerfed it, right? This is an insanely big nerf. Now it's only plus one for each tier one and minus three each tier four so it's a huge nerf i like shady potion uh hp regen's not too important so uh, yeah i like that a lot I'll, I'll actually go ahead and lock it i think um when it comes to luck as a new player sometimes you can bait yourself into taking too much of it but i would say you just want to take a little bit early on if possible if you get like a random like in the early ways let's say like me right this run i got a tier three luck uh level up and so i just took that right 15 luck that's great you know i don't have to take pay anything for it i just leveled up and i got lucky in the early level up that's it right so i went in and took it and but i still only have 15 i think you can have anywhere up to like 50 ish uh 50 luck is probably the peak i would go for kind of like with speed right i wouldn't go for more than 20 speed i wouldn't go for more than 50 luck some of these stats are just overkill once you have too much of it I think with 50 luck, you can get easily really good upgrades, easily really good shops. You do not need more than that. So uh, Shady Potion kind of, uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah, Banner. So Old Banner I would have taken. Once again, I forgot exactly what the change was, but I think losing knockback is really bad. Uh, this is easy, plus three range damage. I'll take the potion here. I'll lose armor for another wheelbarrow, get more harvesting. Uh, scope, I don't have a lot of attack speed, but I will still take it some range and i don't really have a lot but i'm still going to reroll one more time and i get a coupon okay very nice so now we're sitting at let's see yeah 35 luck 
73 harvesting this is really good i wouldn't say we need much more of these now we basically just want more damage percent because look how much range damage we have 15 range damage boost already so our guns are doing 14 each and they're only tier 2 so if we get them to tier 3 they're gonna get even more of a boost from the range damage so just you know damage percent attack speed maybe some crit rate that's what we're looking for and this wave is a good test of clearing out little little monsters because this wave is just a ton of these aliens the the white alien and the chargers and you can see i'm just instantly clearing them out of course we're only 20 seconds into the wave as it goes on it gets exponentially harder they're the big chargers and you can see we're actually I'm pretty much deleting them immediately. Our damage is at a really, really nice point here. We are not struggling with this at all. I'd say this wave is a is a nice test of your damage. Because sometimes you'll get into this wave and you'll feel like you're struggling to kill everything. Or like the second these big guys uh, spawn, you feel like, oh man, I can't kill every anything anymore. Because they just start tanking all your damage. You don't have enough, right? So if you get to this point in the run and you're not killing this wave easily, you're probably lacking some damage. I would say you don't have to kill it as fast as I'm killing it here, but um, yeah, you want to make sure you're able to clear these waves out easily. One other gecko, great. And luck, okay. So here, I would love this range damage, but I really like this upgrade, taking it now on wave nine, because you know luck increases your odds for the rest of the run. So this is like an investment, right? And I think I'm strong enough with 15 range damage to go ahead and take this. And we get triceps, we instantly get rewarded, right? Uh, 12% damage boost, beautiful. Sad Tomato could be okay, but I don't think I need it. Oh, Torture. This is interesting. I'm, I'm not going to take it because I think this is kind of... kind of lucky. Um, I don't actually think this is that great. I do think they buffed it. I'm pretty sure it was like... 4 HP per second, and then the max HP might have been slightly lower. I, this was definitely 4 HP per second though, so they did buff that, it looks like. Damage percent for range. We have a lot of range. We can go ahead and get rid of some. Damage percent for range again. And the peacock. Um, This is interesting. Because if you take this, sometimes you can get one shot. <laughs> right? 50% enemy damage during the next wave. So they get an extra boost of like 50% of their damage boost. And then you get a ton of XP boost though. I do think it's okay to take though. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. I'm not too scared of dying here. And damage percent... In exchange for a little health, I'm okay with that. So our damage is insane now. 45% damage, 15 range damage. We just need some attack speed at this point. Attack speed and more weapon upgrades. And this wave is not really dangerous because we have so much damage already. We just have to make sure we don't uh, make a you know random mistake and get one shot. That is uh, that is key here. So the main, the biggest mistake we can make here is standing still and getting hit by one of the big chargers. That would pretty much just kill us immediately. Come hit this tree. Because trees have a higher chance of dropping loot crates. Okay, no there no loot crate again. It's okay though. If we get one it's just like you know happy happy coincidence that the tree had a loot crate. And we're just you know making sure we're not getting hit by the big chargers, trying to kill everything. Nothing super special. If you have enough damage, these waves will feel really easy. If you don't, you're going to feel like you're not killing anything. That is how the game works. It's quite simple, really. Just wanted to dodge all the chargers, so I just move in a straight line to the side. Oh, okay. So I did just mention, I think more than 50 luck is unnecessary. But I also think HP regen is not very useful. I'm going to be honest. So I'm going to go in and take this. And we have an attack speed. It is only a tier 2. But I'm just going to go in and take it, because it doesn't cost anything. And then here I could go Harvesting. Or Lifesteal. Maybe Lifesteal, actually. I kind of want to get a damage upgrade, because it's going to be a tier 3 upgrade no matter what. And here's some more attack speed. This is what we wanted. Armor is okay, but I'm going to reroll. Okay, I'll take some max HP. Because we just want to get a little bit safer, right? Get our max HP up. Maybe get a tiny bit of armor, and a tiny bit of Lifesteal. Because we have all our damage stats kind of sorted out now. This is okay. I don't think there's a reason to lose armor this run. Oh, bunny. I love the bunny. It's a free reroll every shop. It just gives you money. And butterfly. I love butterfly as well. Lifesteal. You don't need elemental damage. So it's basically just lifesteal. Plus 2% lifesteal. Bandana is really good as well. 
piercing. So now all our SMGs can pierce. And we only lose 10% damage. So it's a great trade. Small get magazine. Also really nice. We get some attack speed. We lose a bit of damage percent. So we actually just lost like 16% damage percent here. So we are going to want to get some more to replace that. And mouse. I will actually take mouse. Um, mouse might look weird, right? But it's really good when you can actually kill all the enemies. So you see I've been clearing the waves easily. So this basically just gives me more enemies to kill, which means I get more money, which means it's worth losing 5 harvesting for. And I also get 5% lifesteal. You can't forget that. So I get quite a bit safer. If I do get hit, I can heal it up a lot more easily. And here on wave 11, where we have these guys, you can see these guys with like the, the bones wrapped around them. Sort of like sphere <laughs> sphere enemies that get, they get like faster, faster the longer they stay alive. And they just constantly come towards you. So you want to make sure in this wave, if you don't get enough damage early on, then you can kind of counteract that by getting some knockback. I will say that is a little bit of a band-aid though. Because I think being able to actually just kill everything is obviously the best. But some runs you really just get a little bit unlucky. And you don't have enough damage to really clear them all. Like super easily. So what you can do is get some knockback. And that will help make sure you don't die to these enemies. As you can see here though, right? I'm just killing everything. It's, it's quite simple. I have plenty of damage to clear these waves. And the wave's over. That's it. Awesome, right? Uh, we don't need this. I mean, 20 luck. No, we're already at 70 luck. It's, uh... I'm wondering if I should take this, actually. Because 47 materials is not that much. I'm, I'm actually just gonna take it. And lose 6 attack speed, but max HP per armor. I wanna say I'm taking this as well. And then speed for range, I'm also taking this. Range damage, great. Reroll, damage percent. Okay. Oh, uh, we, we don't need more luck. Okay, we're at 90. <laughs> we're definitely killing it on the luck area. Uh, we're we're going to be versus an elite. So taking Peacock here is pretty greedy. But I'm just going to flex on the on the elite. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm not scared. Okay, double Peacock is a little bit crazy, though. Uh, pumpkin is nice. Get some piercing damage boost. <laughs> I'm, I really want to take this. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's do. It. If I die, die. <laughs> and the reason I took that is because I have a lot of experience. I would not recommend doing this to anyone else because I think anyone else could, <laughs> especially a newer player, you can easily die if you do that. So do not do what I just did. Um. I took double peacock in an elite wave, which means I'm fighting a mini boss and I take double damage for the entire wave, which is pretty much a recipe to get yourself killed. And you can see even I dipped really low, right? I got hit like once and I almost died. So that is why I would never do that usually. But this run I had 40 max health and I also have uh, one armor, which is pretty much enough for me to stay alive. And yeah, uh, I didn't mention, if you kill the elite, right, he drops a special loot crate. You can see it's like a red loot crate in the top right corner. And that full heals you when you pick it up during the wave. Okay, burning deals an additional 10%. So this is actually a new item. Yeah, this is a new item. So if we're burning them, they take percent damage. I'm actually going to take this. Uh, we don't actually have anything that's burning the enemies right now. But I think we can easily get that. Also, this... Um, so we have so much range damage and attack speed and damage percent already that I think this is perfectly fine to take. Also 5% speed, 10%. This is new as well. 10% structure, attack speed, 5% speed. I don't think we need this, right? This is for engineering. We have negative engineering. Um, but actually it gives 5% speed. And we only have six. Okay, I'll actually go ahead and take that because it's basically 26 materials. Or 5% speed. I think the 5% speed is worth it. And here, these are all tier 1. We definitely reroll. I'll take some range. And more range damage is a little overkill. Uh, I'm actually going to take armor. Because I think we do have a lot of damage. Attack speed, though, I will definitely take. And again, more attack speed and range damage. Reroll. Health. <laughs> Max health. 
I don't think I need it. Uh, yeah, I don't need it. SMG. Damage percent for attack speed. I really don't like the missile. I think this could have used a buff, to be honest. This is a little bit... I I'm not a big fan of it, but I am going to take it here. Because we do have a lot of attack speed, but not a lot of damage percent. SMG, great. And that's it. Yep. And we took this uh, this legendary item, right? We could have sold it for 55 materials. But I think if we get the sausage item, which burns enemies, then this can actually do a ton of damage, even without any elemental damage. Because burning scales off elemental damage, and we literally have... Oh, we actually have nine elemental damage. Okay, I forgot. Uh, that's because we took the wolf helmet. But usually you'd have negative elemental damage uh, playing well-rounded. So you wouldn't really play around burning. But I think this item... Pretty much just like if you burn the enemy they take percent damage and you don't actually need the burn to do damage you just need that item right and you, you need them to be burning so it should give us a lot of damage output later for the final boss as long as we actually get you know the sausage item which lets us burn enemies and it's quite simple right the, the game now we do have these uh these tentacle enemies as well as the armored chargers and I mean, uh, all I can say is, you know, just uh, <laughs> you don't need to have crazy movement. You just dodge when things are coming at you, right? Move a little bit. You move through the projectiles, move out of the charger's path, right? Move through the projectiles and wave done, right? We took almost no damage. Uh, lost Ducky. So <laughs> again, normally I'd say you don't need more luck, but elemental damage is kind of useless. And I mean... It's just like, why not? It's only 16 materials. I might as well take it. Burning activates faster. It's actually got a buff as well, interestingly. So this used to be 10% faster, and it did not give you elemental damage. And then I think it wasn't minus range. I think it was something else. Anyways, this is not really useful. Actually, I guess it is, because we took the... Um... You know, we'll take it. We lose 10 range, but we'll take it. Uh, because we took the... Also, range damage. We took this Greek fire, this new item. Which means if we do get burning, we can make it proc faster. Which means it just, it basically buffs the Greek fire. So I'm okay with that. I will take fertilizer. There's no drawback. We don't care about melee damage. SMG. Pumpkin. So we have additional 30% piercing damage. Yeah, our piercing is only getting, you can see, negative 20%. So basically, we usually deal 25 damage if it pierces and hits another enemy. It only gets reduced by 20%. So we pierce for 80% of the original damage, which is really nice. Oh, coupon and gecko. Let's go. So we have three geckos. We almost have a 100% chance to instantly pick up materials. So when we kill things, all the materials will just fly to us. So we don't have to go pick them up. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Wait, enemies take 10% more damage for three seconds when first hit by elemental damage. Interesting. This is a new item. We still don't have actual elemental damage though. So um, taking more things than, like, than these two seems overkill. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it moving. Next wave. Oh, we have another elite. I kind of didn't pay attention to that. You can see the elite's health is disappearing very quickly. Not much to say, just don't get hit. If you do get hit, it's okay, just don't panic. The worst thing you can do is panic just because you get hit once. And then I'm not really worried about the little minions hitting me. Just kill the boss, and we're good. Now we're pretty much completely safe. None of these do enough damage to kill us, because we have 4 armor, 50 max health, and 7% lifesteal. So we're really tanky. Like, we're ex like extremely, extremely unlikely to die. We'd have to pretty much stand still and get hit by things, like 4 things or 5 things consecutively, to die from this spot. And in emergencies, we always have the the little, like, I want to call them pairs. Yeah, I'm going to call them pairs. The little, like, little pairs on the ground, right? In case we do get low HP. Uh, but as you can see, we pretty much killed everything on the screen. We don't need that. So 2% attack speed. This can be good, but we have um, literally zero dodge. And I don't plan on getting any. So this just takes away, like, half of our range, which I don't like. And then armor for damage percent. 
Normally I would skip this, but I will take it this one time. And okay. <laughs> you know what I kept saying earlier? You don't need that much luck. But I'm, I'm just going to take it to prove a point that it doesn't matter what I take and I can still win at this point, right? Because I played the early game well. And we're at wave 14. We pretty much already secured the win. I'm going to go ahead and take some range. Uh, Vigilante ring. So this is interesting. If I take it now, when I get to the boss, we'll be right uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We'll get 18% damage boost, which is pretty much a tier 4 damage level up plus a tier 2 damage level up. So it's like 200, 200 materials for 18% damage. It's, it's pretty worth, I'd say. And then some crit chance is nice. This got nerfed a little bit. It used to be 3 HP regen. And I'm actually going to take it because we get 2 loot crates. So maybe we get lucky because we have so much luck, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyways. <laughs> uh, oh, we can actually take Cyberball this run because we have so much luck as well. Cyberball scales off your luck. And then attack speed 10% attack speed is nice for 2% damage. And then one more roll. Oh, okay. I'm actually going to take Glass Cannon here, because we have 6 armor. We go from 29% less damage to 17% less damage. Because the armor stack, the way armor stacks, also I'm locking the missile. The way armor stacks is not linear. It has diminishing returns. So I think, you know, you don't really need that much armor. Even like 5 armor is plenty. Like that is plenty, plenty, plenty. You do not need too much armor. At least on well-rounded, right? We're only talking about well-rounded this run. I'm explaining my thoughts on all the things I'm buying, all the upgrades I'm taking. And as you can see, right, it probably looks easy at this point. And I'd say it should look easy. If you get to wave 15, it should look and feel very easy, right? Uh, Brotato, Brotato is a complicated game until you learn how to value the different stats and like what to take, you know? Because like, for example, if I was prioritizing let's say harvesting and luck the entire game. I would have almost no damage, right? It would be a mess. I wouldn't be able to kill any elites. I wouldn't be able to clear the waves fully. I'd be missing out on all those materials. But since I have a ton of damage, right? I took the proper stats, items, everything. We are completely fine. And we have so much range, 234. I think this is not even necessary. Um, you could only have a hundred range and I think you're fine. Range is nice, but it's it's not super important. Recycle all these things. Oh, this is nice. Um, we don't care about dodge, right? We basically lose five harvesting for a legendary damage level up upgrade plus attack speed. So we'll go ahead and take that. And we are so strong at this point. I'm going to take crit chance. We literally have eight percent crit. Obviously, the cap is a hundred, um, but we're just going to go ahead and take it. Why not? And then we have a ton of attack speed. Get some damage instead. Another butterfly. SMG, uh, we have to combine, another SMG, and we could actually take a boxing glove. You know what, why not? We'll, we'll get some knockback. Um, they actually buffed the boxing glove. It used to just give three knockback, and I thought it was okay. You could get one boxing glove, and it's actually pretty okay in your run, in most runs like this. Um, they added melee damage, it doesn't do anything for us, obviously, but it is a buff, you know. And SMG recycling machine so the question is will this give us 90 materials i think it it might probably not but it, we'll, we'll just buy it you know why not and at this point uh yeah the the game this run is just done right so i think the um, the important things to remember here are once you have enough damage i would say range damage early game once you have enough range damage early game and you know you roll properly for your SMGs, upgraded, upgrading them along the way. Then you can kind of start branching into percentage damage stats, right? Damage percent, crit chance, attack speed. Crit chance is the least important early on. You can just get it like really late game, like how I'm doing here. And the reason it's not that important is because you need a lot of crit chance to make it valuable, for one, and for two, SMGs only deal. 1.5% critical damage. So that means when we crit, we're not actually dealing double damage, like you might think. We are only dealing an additional 50% damage. That does mean that once you have enough damage percent, then crit chance becomes more valuable. 
but you know a lot of times you don't get that high of stats in your runs so more butterflies is great uh we don't need a metal plate more range is great okay triceps legendary tier 4 upgrade this is nice right <laughs> just more damage more damage and in this case we have so much luck i'm going to take the fin and then continue smg upgrade scope we have a lot of attacks sure why not just keep taking more and more damage oh this is a new item interesting yeah this is a new item i've never seen this before also we have a peacock here i could take uh range damage attack speed i'll go ahead and take this but yeah this is a new item five knockback and then plus one percent for every knockback so it could have eight percent damage plus eight knockback which is really crazy yeah sure why not and i'll lock the peacock and the reason i'm locking it is because the 100 percent extra xp gain during the next wave i'm gonna save it for the elite i want to show you guys that you know if you build properly you can be completely safe doing crazy stuff like taking peacock right before a boss well i, I did already show that right I, I took two peacocks before a mini boss earlier which is like i'd say exponentially more dangerous than taking it now also, we have so much knockback, it's kind of ridiculous. They're just like flying away from me. So I have, like, I could just stand in the middle of the screen, probably, and not do anything. And I think we wouldn't die, I'm going to be honest. This wouldn't be an issue if I had another gecko, because then I would immediately, like, magnetize all of the materials to me. But uh, I only have 75% chance to make them come to me. I do have to come pick them up, actually. But I do actually think we could just stand in the middle of the screen and AFK like this. Right, just, we're just chilling. We're pretty much in no danger at all. Oh, I didn't even talk about the new enemy that just showed up. You can see some enemies are red. Um, that's because they are getting buffed by one of the new enemies on the screen. Okay, we do not need, we do not need more luck or speed, so I'm going to skip them. Uh, range damage is completely fine. More damage is always okay. So max HP, this is really expensive. Normally I would never take this, and I'm not taking it here. Uh, SMG, lose a little armor for crit chance. Sure, we're, we're at the point where it is probably worth it. New rolling, another SMG, and a lure. I'm gonna keep the lure and get more loot crates, which I like. And this boss is one of the easiest to kill. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect you, sir. Okay, I almost died. <laughs> I almost died to phase two because I got got hit when I have Peacock. So pretty much just like did like 40 damage with one projectile, right? That was my own fault, though. I was standing too close to the boss. It's like, you're probably wondering, you have 300 range nearly. Why are you standing so close to the boss? Or 700 range on my weapons? That's a good question. I was uh maybe a little bit too... too uh, too arrogant for a second there. Oh god, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Let me focus, let me focus. I'm not, I'm not focused, I'm done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, this is a lot more um, exciting than it needs to be. This can be just a nice chill stand in the middle of the screen. We should be safe. And yeah, I mean, um, this run is basically over. I will say well-rounded. I, If I had to give him a tier, I'd say he's probably A tier. Also, sharp bullet. Oh, oh, they nerfed it. Oh, wow. Okay, so they nerfed this. Um, this used to not have the negative knockback. The damage percent and the piercing damage negatives were always there. And I don't really need to take this because I don't need more piercing, so I'm actually going to recycle it. Um, but, you know, if you didn't have the uh, bandana, which gives me piercing, like I have, then you could take that, especially early game. And then here, yeah, plus 10% life steal, plus damage for every life steal we have. So this would put us at 24, which would give us 48% life steal. And they actually nerfed this item. Um, it used to be plus 12%. So like you could be at zero life steal and take this, and it'd be pretty good. Um, you might be thinking, oh, but you take one damage per second. Yes, but when you have SMGs shooting, you know, about 10 bullets per second each you're basically getting 60 shots off per second with a 12 percent chance to heal 
yeah, you're out healing this this passive damage easily. And then reroll, reroll. Oh, crit chance. That is probably the best thing we could get. Uh, we don't need armor or melee damage. Uh, more attack speed, sure. Uh, another SMG, loot, roll, crit chance. We are taking it. We have a hundred and. 153% damage. So we're definitely taking this. Piggy Bank can be really good early game. We don't need this uh, at this point. Oh, Lifesteal. Almost missed the bat. So we're taking taking this because it's also plus 4% damage, right? Another SMG. And keep going. Yeah. All right. And you'll see here what I meant by we can definitely out heal the passive damage easily. I think even if you only had the 10% lifesteal, if you have enough attack speed and you have SMGs like me, you can see I'm attacking every 0 0.087 seconds. Um, that means we're getting about 12 shots off, or like 11 and a half shots per gun per second. So that ends up being more than 60, right? Like about 65 shots per second. And, you know, assuming you're shooting nonstop, and that turns into, right, 10% chance to lifesteal, if you had 10% chance to lifesteal, uh, with 65 shots per second, then you have about 6.5 of those shots should be healing you every second, which means you're healing 6.5 health per second, and you're only taking 1% damage. And we can make the math even easier, right? Let's say your SMGs shoot every 0.10 seconds. Then you get 60 shots per second, and you heal 6 per second, assuming you're non-stop shooting. So, yeah, the... Oh, silver bullet, nice. Bait, nice. Damage percent? Oh, crit chance, nice. Yeah. So, <laughs> bloody hand is really strong if you're playing with SMGs, yeah. And this is, this is ridiculous, just another 26% damage. More damage. <laughs> more damage, more damage, right? Moral of the story, if it says damage percent late game, just take it. Uh, sure, spicy sauce for fun. More damage. And the game is over. Look at our stats, right? This is ridiculous. Let's see how the bosses last. How long they last? Oh yeah, I took two baits. I kind of forgot about that. And they're all dead. And I'm full health. One boss dead. Two boss dead. And that is it. Um, so yeah. And then here, you guys can see all of my items and see what I got right from beginning to end. You can see all the items I took. And I even took some really useless items. This dealt zero damage. <laughs> zero damage dealt. This also dealt zero damage because it's, I didn't have any burning item. So um, I even took some technically useless items here and I still did really well. But yeah, and then here are my stats, right? 57 max health, 26% lifesteal, 221% damage, 33 range damage, 86% attack speed, 51% crit chance, 250 range, 2 armor, 26 speed, luck 110, and 191 harvesting. And that is the run. Yeah. If you have any questions about how to play well-rounded, even after this video, please just go ahead and ask me in the comments below. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, and in the next video, we will be moving on to the Brawler, okay? So I hope you guys look forward to it, and I look forward to seeing you again, okay? Please leave a like if you like the video, and goodbye.